The rising cost of sporting equipment means that some kids won't get the chance to play ball. We've got Caitlin Brennan. She is Director of Operations for Leveling the Playing Field, and she's here to talk about a new partnership between her organization and our station, WMAR. How are you? I'm doing great, Elsa. How are you today? I'm doing well, too, and I'm so excited about this Pack the Park. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so Leveling the Playing Field, we're going to be partnering with WMAR on a Pack the Park sport, a sports equipment collection drive yes. event. Yes. So what does this all entail? And talk about that mission of leveling the playing field. Yeah, so leveling the playing field, we're a nonprofit organization, and our mission really is just to get kids, primarily from under-resourced communities, involved in sports. And the way that we go about doing that is just through the collection of gently used or extra sports equipment. All right, and so what sorts of equipment are you looking for? Everything we see on the table then, huh? Yeah, so we collect a wide range of sports equipment. Everything you see on the table, as well as a, just basically every traditional sports item that you might think of, Got we it. collect it, we bring it to our warehouse in Hamden, and then we're able to redistribute it to, to kids in need. Got it, and of course, we wanna talk about the quality of the equipment that you're looking for as well, because you want them gently used, or I mean, for a mitt, you might want that used juice, because that's gonna make it even better for you. Absolutely. But if you're getting a ball like this, it might have seen some better days. Absolutely. Yes. So we collect gently used or extra sports equipment. Okay. So again, it's one of those things where if you or your child is still going to use that piece of gear, yes. we want it. We can absolutely get that back into circulation. But with a basketball like this, clearly seen some better days. Yes. Uh, we're not necessarily going to be able to put that back into circulation. Got it. Okay. So you just want to be mindful about what it is that you're donating. But what a great organization. You, you think about all this equipment that we as parents are buying for our kids and then something happens, they either grow out of it or they lose interest in the sport, mm -hmm. something happens and then what are you left with? Literally that looks like our garage is at home and now we can donate through this organization and make this possible for some other kids to really use it. It's got to feel good for you. It feels amazing, yeah. right? And it's one of those things where we encounter parents and families who are equally thrilled to get it out of their home yes. and to know <laughs> that it's going back into its intended purpose, right? Of getting a kid who wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to play sports on the field. And why did you want to start this organization? Were you an athlete as well, or did you just see the need? What was it about making sure that kids had this equipment that really drove you? Yeah, so growing up, you know, I had the privilege and the opportunity to play every sport that I, yeah. I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, it's one of those things where I was able to develop re some really great life skills along the way. It Absolutely. was a big part of my community, big part of my social life, yeah. uh, and really just the ability to extend that opportunity to get all those mental and physical benefits yes. to other kids in need. You saw that need and of course people are going to watch this, they're going to feel that need as well and maybe want to volunteer. I know your organization is looking for some volunteers, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to be packing the park. Obviously when we get all that gear back into our warehouse, we're going to yeah. need some help to inventory it, <laughs> sort it, throw it on all our shelves. It's a little bulky too. It's a little right? bulky. Yeah. It's a little bulky. So we work with volunteers on a rolling basis, right? Yeah. We work with a lot of students who might be looking for those service learning hours. We also work with a lot of groups and families, just anyone who who might want to give back, it's a really great way to kind of do so and connect the sports aspect. Got it. So when we are packing the park, we are leveling the playing field at the same time so we can bring our equipment. It's going to be a day. It's going to be so much fun. And what so a great cause. All right. So you want to come out and help WMAR and leveling the playing field. Pack the park. That is happening Wednesday, April 20th at Honey Go Run Regional Park in Perry Hall. Caitlin Brennan, thank you so much for being with us for this important organization. I love this partnership. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.